Hello everyone, Trinity Flea here. Welcome on back to another episode of Scars Above. Well, last episode we kind of went around this little flame area, opened up a shortcut right over here, and now we're continue on. So, without further ado, let's get it. And do 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 do, squeeze through here. I'm so glad that was that shortcut was there or that loop was there because uh, I was running out of my electric ammo. The fuck? Am I seeing that? That's a pretty creepy uh, blood thing. Oh, it's from this thing. Holy shit! Scan that crap. Log entry. Recently killed. Bite wounds are approximately six inches deep. Well, what could have done this? Some vicious beasts are roaming around these caves. Open field. Well, I found your vicious beast. Log entry. Overdeveloped mandible is filled with razor sharp teeth. Extremities are very strong, allowing the creature to close the distance to its prey quickly. Hmm. <laughs> Don't freeze it. Holy shit. That was nuts. Nothing over here. Let's go over there real quick just to make sure there's no knowledge. No knowledge at all. Is this a... Working well? well? I sure hope so. I wanted to listen to it. Okay, so it is there. I just have to probably change the audio just a hair. That might be too too soft. <clears throat> okay, how about that? Yeah, I'll just do that. I'm on the highway to hell. 
yeah, this definitely reminds me of the Onyx City from uh, Mortal Shell. It makes me want to play the game again. This was a massacre. Bite marks. They were shredded into pieces. They must have been killed by those monsters nearby. This was someone close to you, wasn't it? Save your people. Stop the custodian. Stop the custodian was his like high halo things. This holographic technology is incredible. I think I could use it to make something useful, some kind of distraction. Okay. Throw it into elements, uh, elemental stuff. Sure, 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 sure. What's up here? That's it. And some fiber from bones. The crash site must be close. I hope Tam and Mike are alive. Haha, uh -huh. killed it Dark Souls style. In there, I think that she'll be better. She'll probably more of a boss thing. Scan this engine. Thrusters burned out. Robinson must have used maximum power to avoid the crash. Uh, I knocked this out. This over for a reason. Is it a shortcut? Is it a weapon? Is it? Current. Current. Fair looks just patch through a tent. <laughs> so now it's like a, I don't know, it's a something. Easy P. 
peasy lemon squeezy. Son of a bitch. <coughs> yeah, that wire looks a bit better. A little bit better. It would just go in through one of these. Go. Perfect jump scare time. <laughs> Once I start using them more, I, but I do want to work on what's this? Consumables cost. I do want to actually max both of those out, but let's do. Let's do extra resources. Cause you never know what that means. I just can keep on running up this way. Oh, that's how you... That's how you get back down. But I want to get back down. I want to get back up. Hermes looks like it blew up. 
Subnautica meets Revenant from the Ashes. Uh oh. More of that growth. Same as with Robinson. Where is it coming from? Not from my ass, that's for sure. Oh, okay. That's actually scared me. Log entry. Something is really wrong with Mike. I've placed him in the bio bed and I'm running tests, but his skin. His skin is changing. Commander mm. Robinson still hasn't returned. What did they encounter outside? An improvised power source. Looks like Tam's handiwork. Can't open it without a key card. Mm. Mike? We'll get you to the lab. Mike? Hang on. What happened? It'll be okay. Look, where is Commander Robinson? No, no, no. Mike! I'll get you to the lab. Hang on. It'll be okay. So this is the lab. What is this metahedron? Why did it bring us here? I need a key card for this. Okay, so I need a key card for this. Actually, might be a. Uh, departer. Okay. One of our jackets. I'm taking it. If it can cut through plasteel bulkheads, it can cut through anything. Oh, nice. <laughs> so, did I lose my key card? Like it happened in another lifetime. Zero six twenty ten. Hmm. 
Zero, six, twenty. I big brain. Mike? Tamara's computer. Well, I just got there. I'm trying to repair the ship scanning system with that. We're blind. What's happening around us? Medical log. Mike's situation has become dramatically worse. The tumors on his body are now expanding at an exponential rate and spreading all over the lab. I have no way of curing him. I isolated a single nanite unit. Its construction is far too complex. However, I discovered it is constantly receiving a binary transmission. It looks like an instruction set. My hypothesis is that these nanites are controlled from the central source. If I'm able to find it, maybe I can instruct them to reverse the process. <coughs> Tim recorded the coordinates to the computer. What is up there? Mm. Blood sample seems to be contaminated by nanite units. They're manipulating his cellular structure. Does this mean that the mutations are artificially induced? Are they? What happened to Richard, too? Mike, what has this place done to you? What has it not done? There is a wound in the upper torso, triangular in shape. It looks like it was made by a solid, thorn like projectile. Hmm. Bloodstream is full of foreign bodies consisting of an unknown alloy. Mm -hmm. Medical log. The patient's body is covered by abnormal cancerous growth. Temp 39.8 degrees Celsius. Pressure highly irregular, 190 by 120. Heart rate, 136. Pupils highly dilated. Inducting 120 cc's of protein synthesizer in hopes of lowering the body temperature and normalizing the pressure. Commencing diagnosis. Tamara was taking blood samples for analysis. Tam was analyzing Mike's blood and discovered that it's contaminated with unknown nanite machines. The nanite machines seem to be altering Mike's body, which means his condition is artificially induced. Tamara managed to isolate a single nanite unit and discovered a transmission that seems to be remotely controlling its operation. She went off to find it in hopes of reversing the process. I have to follow these coordinates. It's the only way to help both Tam and Mike. Okay, well...
Well, I'm almost at a good stopping point. Let me just see if there's anything else left to do. It's getting colder. I should put on my jacket. Chapter three. You know what? I think this is actually a good spot to actually wrap it, it up here, starting chapter three. Um, thank you for all for watching and uh, making it this far. If you haven't done so, please leave a like. It helps me out a lot. Pushes out this content to more viewers such as yourself. Also, if you also haven't done so and you'd like to see more of my content, make your way back. Make sure you hit this the subscribe button with the notification bell turned on other than that stay trendy my friend and i'll see you in my next in my next video for flea and country my name is trendy flea signing off